Hey guys, this is part two of my comparison of Octane Thea and Arnold regarding uh, scenes with lots of trees. You might have seen this in my review. Basically, for simplification, uh, this scene here is a bunch of trees spread out along the thing. I don't have any, I mean, I can show you what it looks like if I <laughs> enable it, but that's basically. So, that's what we have. Now, so first we open Thea and we hit render. And it transfers for about maybe three, five seconds. There's 18,000, 36,000 trees here. Because I also got a, their instance, and there's an instance of there's like one block here, which is a plane with trees scattered on it, and there's another plane here. Um, now, Thea has a weird, in the interactive render regions, you have to restart it once, but they're fixing it. And so once you restart it, then you can adjust ISO and stuff live and so this is how it renders and this is how smooth the viewport is it's remarkably smooth even with a screen recording software going and basically this is an instance of this and this is the MoGraph plants trees here scattered along the terrain so and you can see about how quickly it cleans up now the same thing with Octane Live View is actually still pretty decent and I like how Octane at least pulls the color materials as well as Thea does from a standard C4D material, so you don't have to make, you know, if you're just converting it. The only problem is it doesn't see the MoGraph on the other landscape. And also it's got these really weird white dots all over it, so when you wait for it to clear up, which it does noticeably slower, I don't know, now it just stopped clearing up altogether. There you go, had a bit of a See, it has these little white speckles all over it. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a setting to get rid of them, but something that Thea doesn't have a problem with. And lastly, we have Octane. Um, where's my APR view? There it is, my APR window. <laughs> you can see I tried it already. And i got to say, it loads the scene in a lot faster. Like, you know, if you pause it, and you know, like it, it loads if you go from zero and you go, um, like this, and you open the IPR window, it starts rendering very quickly. You know, it's, it loads a lot faster than the other one, but the actual render is well, yeah, and it's really laggy to navigate, and also for some reason, it doesn't see the trees on the second instance and it's just it's so slow god and it doesn't load any materials in it doesn't do any basic texture con color conversions or anything so and this is what it's like and yeah so um not impressed i thought arnold would you know really shine in this whole scene with a ton of polygons in it does to some extent. I mean, it loads really quickly, which is nice. So, you know, you don't have to wait for it to load into memory. But it's nowhere near, you know, as responsive. It's not off the second instance since it doesn't seem to work in the renders. You know, it's rendering, but eh. Anyway, whereas Octane does a pretty good job. And there it is about the scene. and. This one is still rendering. How do I stop this guy from rendering there? So Octane cleans it up really quick, just like Thea. And Thea obviously is just, you know, it's super responsive once it loads it in. Maybe it takes a bit longer to load than Octane. Eh. But then once it's there, it's just, it's really smooth. I mean, you don't get this kind of response on any of them. So yeah, there we have it. All you do is we're bugged that you have to restart the interactive render once. I mean, this is just super smooth. Um, I have viewport like right there, yeah. So let's line it up a bit more. Once again, something that you know. So I just thought this would be a good follow-up to my previous video. So you go, select save from Ace Five Studios.